Hi everybody, we're at the Imagination Station. I'm here with Carl Nelson, the Chief Scientist, and it is time to imagine it. What are we doing today, Carl? You know, a lot of times we do uh, demonstrations here on the segment that are things you can't do at home. Sure. Fire, liquid nitrogen, stuff right, like that. You know. Today, this is stuff you can do at home, and it's really cool, and okay. it's stuff you probably already have. All right, so parents, listen up. This is something you can do at home, so run over to the TV if you're eating breakfast right now and take a look. So Alka-Seltzer is really cool. Take a couple tablets. Okay, uh, not, not take don't, a no, couple no, no, tablets. No, no. Hold, okay. hold on, hold All on. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna add them to water. Um, and go ahead and add them to water. Throw okay. some right This in. is water Toss, right here? Just water. All right. Toss them in. Throw them in, and we're tossing and them in. Pop up, fizz, fizz. Pop up, fizz, fizz, right. Because this stuff is a combination of sodium bicarbonate, like okay. baking soda, sure. and citric acid. And when you add it to water, the two combine together and generate carbon dioxide gas. So we get bubbles. Okay. Um, so we're gonna use that fact to actually make something really cool. We're gonna make a lava lamp. Ooh. Okay, so I've got... I've uh, always wanted one of these. So okay. this is like the at-home version of a lava lamp. Okay, okay? sounds good. So, DIY lava lamp. Listen up, Pinterest moms. <laughs> That's right. So what we're going to do is we've got containers that are filled with vegetable oil. Okay, so two-liter bottle or a tiny version. A tiny one, whatever you want. So yeah. you, you could even do it in a big container like this, whatever okay. you have. All right. These are great because when you're all done, you can cap them up and store them. And uh, obviously. Lava lamp collection. That's right. Every parent's dream. <clears throat> so okay. what we need is we need some lava. So I've got some food coloring here for you. You oh could boy. have blue, green, or red. Okay. Go ahead and add some drops to this container of water. Right here? Okay, yep. just a few? Well, whatever color you want your lava to look like. Oh. So as, as much or as little as you want. I'm gonna go crazy with a lot of blue here. And give it a little swirl. Okay. It's okay to make a mess. So now we have our lava. We need to get this water into these containers. Okay. Now water, is more dense, heavier per volume sure. than oil. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit. Add your, go ahead and add your lava in okay. and watch what happens as you add that liquid, those droplets are gonna end up going to the bottom because sure. the water is more dense. And you want me to put the mo most of this in? No, not most of it. No, just a little? What we're gonna do is we're gonna add that Alka-Seltzer oh, at some point. So okay. we wanna add enough water to get maybe to this little ridge at the bottom of the bottle. Okay. We're gonna right. leave a little breathing room at the top because we, right. we're not making volcanoes, we're making lava lamps. Sure. So I think you could, you'll keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, okay. you can keep going. Whoa, well, that's we'll make okay. a mess. That's Fine. okay. We'll, we'll burp the funnel yeah. there. Go ahead and add some more. Put it down in there. Oh, starting it's, to see the bubbles. Yeah, it sinks to the oil. It doesn't react with the oil, but when it hits the water, we start generating that carbon dioxide gas and we start getting bubbles. And those bubbles mm -hmm. start dragging some of our oil upward. Okay. But then when the bubbles reach the top, they pop and the oil falls, falls back, back down. down. I'm sorry, the water falls back down. So, yeah, should we, so yeah, sure. we're, we're churning, churning up the solution there. And what's really cool is if you have a flashlight, we have a light table here, but if you have mm -hmm. a flashlight, you put it underneath and you get some really cool effects. Very neat. So you need the Alka-Seltzer though. What happens when it runs out? Well, it'll stop bubbling mm -hmm. and all the water will settle back down and the lava lamp is, is done. Then you can put the cap back on. So, okay. The one thing you don't want to do is you wouldn't want to put the cap back on right now because we're going to build up pressure. I was pressure just going to ask you that. That's the, okay. The, it makes a mess. We've done that. Don't do that. All anymore. right. So do not do that. Do not put the cap back on while you're doing this experiment with the kids. But it's, you know, it's so cool. It's simple ingredients, oil, water, food coloring, and you can make a lava lamp. And this will go for quite a while. And the beauty of it is we've had some of these for months and months and just keep adding Alka-Seltzer and it really? just keeps working. So it's not like even you've, you've invested in your oil, you can hold it for several months. Okay. So drugstore or grocery store trick. There you go with yeah. science behind it. So Science, absolutely. Awesome, sounds good. Carl, thanks so much. And that's how you imagine it.